Turning now to the ongoing <laughs> war of words between former White House aide Omarosa Manigault Newman and President Donald Trump. She says she's heard a tape of the man using the N-word, and he continues to hurl Twitter, Twitter insults at Omarosa and other high-profile African Americans, including Don Lemon, Maxine Waters, and even LeBron James. So are these tack, attacks mo racially motivated? Uh, there, there's some people who say, yeah, he treats everybody badly. Uh, Amrose is not any different. Uh, Don Lemon, LeBron James aren't different. But I think the words he chooses uh, when he talks about these folks, uh, when he talks about black people, mm -hmm. suggests that there's something different going through he his mind. He chooses them on purpose. Yeah, He chooses right? them for their effect, and he gets the effect that he wants. And the truth of the matter is, he and Amarosa were made for each other. <laughs> and I can tell you this, no matter what happens with the, the sale of the book, no matter how much yelling and screaming we do, <clears throat> a year from now, two years from now, the two of them are going to wind up getting back together. And, and <laughs> you think they'll be back together oh, again? Oh, that could easily happen. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. I don't necessarily know about that, but what, I, but what I will say is someone who has worked for an, an elected official, a few of them, <clears throat> uh, you know what you're signing up for. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, with her, unfortunately, I think it's, it's kind of too late. You knew he was doing this. You stayed in the administration until you were thrown out. Yeah. And I think that that has a bad, I mean, for her credibility, uh, I think people are saying, well, wait a minute, you knew how, how he was. We told you, and it's to an extent, how he was. Now, I mean, you got what you got. But right. she's just like him. So we're, we're acting like we're speaking about normal That's people. That's true. We're That's talking true. about two narcissistic <laughs> sociopaths, well, and I, I'm just throwing words around that sound looking crazy. You know, I don't expect anything better out of a Donald Trump, and I don't expect anything better out of a Omarosa. Yeah. Both of them are off the charts mm -hmm. nuts. And I really hate that we have to spend time when we could be talking about issues, mm -hmm. speaking about these two people, but they are commanding the news cycle. And so, but I just think it needs to be said that these two people are unlike anyone else. They're not normal. <laughs> So we can't talk about them in normal terms. Right. Well, but at the but, same time, I don't, but, yeah, go ahead, Karen. But, but on American Black Journal, the reason that we need to talk about them is because they held, they, they've got an opportunity to have done so much more for the black community, wow. especially Omarosa, because you need to understand, I was on those calls when, mm -hmm. when all of the African-American Republicans uh, that had huh. plenty of experience, when we were looking for <clears throat> who's going to help shepherd us into the new administration, mm -hmm. she got on the call, she said, send me the, the, the resume, everything, and clearly what she did is threw all that stuff in the but trash. But did you bow down yeah, to her? Yeah. Had you already bowed down to her? You yeah, knew what kind yeah. of a nut you were dealing with when you were on the phone. You used the <laughs> avenue you had had to use, but you clearly, as a man, of, of intelligence, Have you were clear what down. you were dealing with. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's, 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 let's be, no, let's, let's be very clear. The expectation was short from the start. Yeah. The bottom line is, I mean, anytime, you know, you know, working for an elected official, photo ops are things that politicians want. Mm -hmm. uh, the real question would have been, how many contracts are we going to get? How many ambassadorships for 47 African countries that are still unfilled mm -hmm. are we going to fill? Mm -hmm. Whether it's Armorosa, whether it's the pastors mm -hmm. that came out, mm -hmm. that should have been the, the real conversation. They were really talking Not about. come take a picture right. and Armorosa is going to help you it, walk out the white isn't house. Isn't it important yeah. if she has I'll this tape it. that she says she has of Donald Trump using the N word, which I, I there's been anybody. rumors about no, that what? for a long time. I mean, who would be Does surprised that yeah. that they actually caught him on yeah, tape saying think, the N word? I mean, I mean uh, there's a difference though between thinking about that or hearing about that, and then I think actually. What's the difference between that and grab her by the and I can't say the word? There's literally no difference. Yeah. And, well, I mean, and, and as no, a well, okay, well, I'm, I'm black before yeah. I'm a feminist. Everybody knows that. So I get you don't have to explain to me the the historical right. difference. Yeah. But I'm talking about the the seismic sh different. His supporters do not care. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you if we if we just buy into the narrative that um, and this is not to disagree, he does have a core support that uh, that doesn't care about a lot of stuff. But the people that got him elected. You know, also include uh, sure. white women Correct. with yep. degrees. That's right. And, That's right. You know, and 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 these other. A lot of they include a lot of people who voted two times. For, for Barack Obama, exactly. uh, and, and for that, whatever reason, decided uh, mm. to go the other way. But, uh -huh. but those, those people, people, those people will care, and his support among white women with degrees, in particular, that voted for him yeah. this last time, has dropped way down into the single digits. Yeah. So, so they didn't care about grabber by the, mm, mm -hmm. but they will care about the N word. What, I what, hope I'm, you're right. I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying it's already on it. The point that Greg's trying to yeah. make is they're not all deplorables or any of the other stuff that Hillary called them. The Republicans that voted for him, there are quite a number of people that are holding out hope that he is not that person that everybody keeps that making him out to be. That he's not a three-wifed man who's cheated on all of his wives. What? People never they talk about the honor. Well, but let's be very and they're clear. they're not but, facing but, it, and until but, you put it black yeah. and white in their face,
they're not going to. But we him. did that with Grabber by the. Mm. But let's be very clear on who Donald Trump is. Yeah. Part of why he got elected been, is yeah. because people said, or at least they thought, yeah. mm. for, not, finally we have a person who. Yeah. Regardless of all their baggage, is going to keep it real with the American <laughs> yeah. people. Yeah. You can argue that's been done, yeah. right. real, real. Right. But the challenge is now. Well, you know, is he for me? And so, uh, I think one of the downfalls that you're seeing is that people are saying, "Okay, wait a minute. We accepted your baggage coming in, but enough is enough." Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, I mean, I, 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 I get that perspective, but I think that we can't have conversations about his base and how he was elected if we can't also talk about the manipulation of yeah. the uh, voting electorate by uh -huh. the sure. Russians. I mean, I just, you know, right. there, that right. is a yep. factor. Yep. Right. Yep. And yeah. of course, uh, we've seen that story and the investigation yeah. into it take, uh, right. take more and more momentum on and clo and get closer and closer uh, to the president himself. Five people from his team Ha are now convicted felons. Convicted or admitted. Right? Actually, convicted actually, or admitted. actually, actually, it's more than that. Uh -huh. Well, it, it, it's it's yeah. ten who are being investigated or indicted. Right. But but let's let's go back to something really quick. You said one of the things is that I think people were willing to accept Trump for who he was because he's been on your airwaves for twenty yes. years. Yeah. Right. Right. However, when it comes to there being a possibility mm -hmm. that there may be some treasonous activity. That is where America says enough is enough. Maybe. 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 No, maybe. We're maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Where's, <laughs> where's Archie Bunker when you need him? Uh, right. yeah, Archie Bunker was pro-American. That's my point. Where is Archie Bunker so when you, you need him? So you don't think we're there yet? Uh, we're not there yet. They, they absolutely. I got a t-shirt for you. Know, Greg has been there for a long time. We're I, not surprised you know, I, I, I went to an event in Detroit uh -huh. in the Eastern Market <laughs> yeah. that was Packed in those, in those sheds the are pretty Tom big. Yeah. Tom Steyer's event, yeah. Yeah. where people talked mm -hmm. honestly about you know the need to impeach this guy, and some of it was based on you know the Russian thing. The other yeah. stuff was based right. on still have, some of the criminality that we seems to be going do on. Nothing Congress and the Republicans in Congress are not at all. They don't have an appetite for deciding to impeach him. They oh, have well, not been they, kicked they, enough they, by the people who are at home who right. yeah. said, yeah. "Get rid of that guy." They are still right. trying their best to be safe. Well, yeah. let's see. We're yeah. sept the first sure. week in September <clears throat> now, <throat> so we probably got another eight weeks or so before the November elections. Yeah. And I think that you know, mm -hmm. I think there's going to be a change, and those impeachment papers are already drawn right. up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, okay. Carrie, how do we get uh, how do we get on these calls you're on? These important <laughs> calls where these important decisions are being made. I don't know if I want to be on that call. You still can't get in. Had <laughs> been a check. 30 year right. member of the Republican Party. Okay. Mm -hmm. well, if you in fact had been African really American and you've actually worked for plenty of other Republican mm -hmm. elected yeah. officials yeah. before, because I'm gonna tell you, I was on the call and there were people from all over the country on the call. Some of I've never even met. Yeah. A lot of them were, you know, 20 yeah, no, years no, no, younger no, no, than me. He <laughs> wasn't on the phone call, but I'm saying they you. were his age. <laughs> yeah. They were 20 years younger than so, me. So, but talk to me about what goes on on, the, on these calls. Well, they, are they still doing What's it? What's going on gone. on those calls now is everybody's upset because she did absolutely positively nothing. Yeah. You, you nothing. Thought, well, what did you, nothing. But what did you, you thought she was? What did you expect? Oh. We expected that those people that have experience and who have been there before. Or have access. Or they, they've had the access. They know how the system works. They could have actually put some things into place that would have helped him and the administration, mm -hmm. but obviously all of their paperwork got but thrown when he chose Trump doesn't hire Rosa, black people when he or chose people of color Rosa, didn't that tell positions? you the, 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 what he, when he chose Ben Carson to be over housing, well, didn't that. these things tell you anything? Yeah. And ben well, Carson being over housing is not, you can't compare that with Omarosa. I, clearly not. Ben well, Carson <laughs> being over, he was still an intelligent Fish official. Fish out of water. But excuse <laughs> me, but at the same time, Everybody that's ever been chosen for that same position, they were not hood director let's go before. Back, let's go back so to he, Amarosa then. He, if, if when ben she, when Carson he told had her. had a good staff around I'll him, give you ben Carson. which he did have, I'll give you ben Carson. he go could back have to done Amarosa. a lot more, but they've cut his budget like go crazy. Go, go, go back to Amarosa. Go, 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 when he chose go, go, an Amarosa, that did not tell you something. Going back to Amarosa, okay, what are we talking about here? Let's recall Let's recall the two African Americans that were the closest to Donald Trump uh -huh. were Amarosa and Randall Pickett, That's who's a pro-business guy. Right. I mean, you would have thought if his focus coming in to the White House was creating small mm -hmm. business, uh -huh. Randall uh -huh. Pickett Helping would have been right. this uh -huh. election, was not he Amarosa. Was there? No. 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 no, he was not. No. It was all about the, the, the folks that know anything about And I, I've never watched the, the reality show. Well, there's uh, the problem. Whatever the it was. So yeah. I, 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 I'm, I'd like to believe that I'm a little bit more serious in my yeah. life than that, but, yeah. but you, you apparently have to Someday learn. Someday we'll talk about it. I, you so, know, Karen, uh, was it to get 
if you wanted to apply to the White House, was that the deal, or were you guys it like plotting out strategy? The, the, the new administration period, right. how things were going to go. Oh, for those yeah. folks that wanted to go to work in the White House and, yeah. and in all of the other governmental departments, right. uh, all of those that had experience, yeah, yeah. that's mm. it was I think that's, folks that already had the experience, right. folks that were already working in those departments so, yeah. that expected to move up. To you didn't see the okey doke, right. and you didn't think <laughs> that would be a complete waste of time. Look at you, you still look, have look, to look, remember look, that. I'm just saying, I mean, they did what they were told to do. Let me help you out. Let me help you out. If you're going to a meeting and the directors or the chief of staffs of the agencies are not there at the meeting, it's a waste of time. Yeah, that's an and I think, what, and unfortunately, what's happened is that we've created a culture of photo ops yeah. and not a culture of progressive information actual, of how do we get the right people having an actual into say, these positions. Yeah, yeah.